guys, what's going on? I'm Kevin Swan for Tap That, the show that explores the best bars, pubs, and holes in the wall of the five boroughs and beyond. It may look like I'm taking it easy today, but in fact, I'm in Greenpoint, Brooklyn at The Gutter. It is a half bar, half bowling hybrid. They've got an amazing selection of craft beers. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go check out uh, Paul. He's the owner, and he's gonna run us through some of the awesome beers they have here on Selection. Paul, thanks for, uh, thanks for having us out, man. No problem. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the gutter other than this is one of the most unique bars I've ever been in? Well, it's uh, a bar with uh, eight regulation size bowling lanes, which we have just right next door. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been here about uh, almost two years, okay. uh, although it looks like we've been here a lot longer. That's what I was going to say. It literally looks like this was snapped out of like, did you have to take a DeLorean to get here? <laughs> the place looks amazingly authentic. 40 years ago, bowling alleys were more like a bar and we have four lanes, or we have six lanes or eight lanes. Right. Um, so we were try really trying to emulate those kind of places. How important is it for you guys to kind of stay authentic to the, uh, to the real bowling and they were real authentic, you know, regulation lanes? It's not like a little kitty bowling area over there. There's no plastic pins. No, everything is like the real thing. It's all right. Brunswick equipment. Um, we actually opted for wood lanes, which um, is a pretty kind of uh, outdated thing at this point. Everyone is, uh, if you go to a bowling alley now, you'll see um, everyone has the synthetic fake wood. As you can see looking around, I mean, we basically filled this place with, you know, what's called like uh, Brewerania, like collectible stuff. I mean, all like signage and like collectibles from different breweries. Look, I love all the, uh, sort of the vintage beer signs and they have a great Schlitz globe over there. It's, uh, it's really nice and uh, yeah, it's just a cool place. How important is, is it for you guys uh, to be uh, a Brooklyn bar, to have Brooklyn beer, um, and, and was that a conscious effort you guys made to, to, to do it here in Greenpoint? You know, we wanted to make a comfortable bar that we wanted to hang out in, serve the beer that we like, and, you know, committed to serving local beer. So we have Brooklyn beers, we have beers from New Jersey, beers from upstate. Right. So. Good beer, bowling, and the beer. So it looks like uh, we've got this uh, light colored uh, beer here. We're going, what are we going with here? The this is the Fisherman's Ale, okay. uh, which is a German style uh, Kolsch beer. Okay. It's good for summer. It's got a lot of flavor, it's got some complexity, but it's kind of light on the palate. Yeah, it's um, it's a, a light, easy drinking beer, but it's got a good like malt flavor, a little bit of hops, a little bitter. Since craft beer really kind of blossomed in the United States, being Americans, it's like, you know, they Americans, we really like push the envelope. So yes, craft do. beer, didn't stay the four ingredients. Right. Um, next thing you know, it was hugely hopped IPAs, and, and Americans basically redefined right. um, the IPA. Then it was coffee beers, and it's vanilla, and it's um, and those, and that means people are actually like literally putting in vanilla, putting in chocolate. Maybe. Yeah, chocolate, coffee, everything. Yeah, right. I mean certain styles like stouts, uh, Doppelbox, right. things like that will work with those kind of kinds of ingredients. What's on tap? Uh, for our second beer? Uh, we can. We were talking about Belgian beers. We sure. can try Allagash White, which is a Belgian style wit beer. This is a wheat beer, um, and what makes it, this is the way they make it in, in Belgium, okay. which is um, unfiltered. Um, is and that, you said that's what kind of gives it the cloudiness? Yeah, okay. um, and it's spiced, so you can taste kind of the coriander yeah. and like orange peel and the different Definitely. spices in it. Um, it's funny you say orange peel, you're right. I don't taste oranges, but I actually taste orange peel. Well, it's more like the Make rind, like the bitterness. Yeah. Like you more yeah. taste that rather than, yeah. Uh, and a little bit, a little citrusy too. Yeah, where's, and this again, I think another like summer beer. We pour, we pour this all year round and this is a, actually a good one in a pitcher. I could easily see that. Yeah. It's actually yeah. a great looking beer too, it's got great color. This is um, Six Point Brownstone. This one is very local. Uh, the brewery's down in Red Hook in Brooklyn. Okay. And um, and this is which one of their beers? Brownstone. Okay. Which is a brown ale, um, which uh, is a style which was started in England. So, okay. You know, but you know, it looks uh, you know from glance it looks like a dark beer, obviously, um, but it drinks a lot lighter than it looks. Yeah, basically. it is a dark beer, and that's from the malt, and this is much more. They brewed with a much darker malt than okay. uh, than the other two that we've had. Um, is malt typically what will give a beer its color or lack yeah. of color? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so dark malt obviously equals dark beer. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah. Paul, again, thanks for having us out uh, this afternoon. We really appreciate everything. Uh, again, the gutter out in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Uh, Paul's going to stay here and drink. Uh, I, however, am going to go uh, get my bowling skills a try. An amazing beer selection, check. A great staff, check again. Bowling, triple check. 
We've had an amazing afternoon here at the Gutter in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. It's definitely a place if you're a beer drinker you want to check out. Uh, I'm going to keep going back to the Blaines and back to my bowling game because I'm about to bowl a 300, I, I promise, really. There'll be no editing at all. Uh, but definitely come out and check out the Gutter in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Again, I'm Kevin Swan for Tap That. People are having large 10 plus, 10 plus pound balls thrown around. Wait, I'm just gonna, I can't finish that one. <laughs> <laughs>